So our text today is Peter Atkins' essay, Science of Truth, from uh, History of the Human Sciences. This is from 1995, but I think it's still relatively timely. Atkins is a scientist who's defending the value of science, and he's defending it um, in a particular context, which you guys may not be completely aware of. Uh, he doesn't engage with philosophy at the end of the essay so much as he engages with social science. One of the things he's talking about when he speaks about scientific revolutions is a whole way of thinking about science that's become popular since about 1970, the mid 1960s, uh, which is to look at science as a cultural practice, as a social practice, to do what's sometimes called the, the social science, sociology of science. To look at science as an activity that's engaged in by a certain group of people according to certain rules, and to look at it as a cultural form, the way that an anthropologist might look at religion in some remote society that he's studying. Um, when Atkins emphasizes the truth value of science as a product, and when he talks about the nature of scientific revolutions as being not arbitrary and random, but as being guided by the evidence, he's pushing back against this idea that the political and sociological factors that influence scientists limit the objective reach of their conclusions. Um, along the way, towards the end of the essay, he dismisses religion and dismisses philosophy almost with the way of the hand. But I think we can take his conception of science and its unique power to give us the truth about the, about the physical world as a position we want to engage with as we come to the end of the week we're spending with A.J. Ayer, looking at his positivism and his emotivism about values and about his verification criterion of meaning. So the first thing I asked you about in this essay was the thesis of the essay from the first paragraph. What is Atkins up to? What is Atkins' thesis in this essay? He tells us Plainly right up front. Science is the best procedure yet discovered for getting truth. Best procedure yet discovered for getting truth, leaving open the door that there may be some superior procedure that might come in the future. But thinking of affairs as they stand right now, if you want the truth, science is your best bet. We might think you would contrast that to religion, to philosophy, maybe to social science, or uh, some sort of political analysis of the practice of working scientists. Um, what else does he say in this first paragraph that's significant? He states out a fairly bold position. What does he say? That science has no bounds, or pure science has no bounds. There appear to be no bounds to its competence. It can comment on the origin and end of the world, on the emergence, evolution, and activities of life. It can even account for the activities and beliefs of sociologists. Do we see here a descendant then of Descartes' single method? So reading back in the 1630s, and now here in the 1990s, we have Atkins speaking with confidence about science generally, scientific method, as able to give us pretty much anything that can be known, anything that can be known by science. We have a single method, and we have an absolute confidence that this method will give us whatever there is that can be known. In a sense, this may be the payoff from the promise that we get at the beginning of Descartes' project, it says, here is the, the method of the human mind, which can tame reality and allow us to realize Bacon's dream. What was Bacon's ideal? Science is for the sake of the benefit of mankind, to improve man's estate, to increase our power collectively over nature for the benefit of, for the benefit of mankind. So he's claiming what he calls the beginning of the second paragraph, universal Competence. This may seem arrogant, but it actually is justified, as, as Dave Ruth, who played baseball here when I had to appeal in the mouth long ago. Babe Ruth once said, it's not bragging if you can do it. So not, not boasting about science. Science actually can do the things that I'm planning for science. I can pay this off. 